It's Halloween, so naturally we decided to do a story about zombies. Ghosts and goblins may be imaginary, but zombies, it turns out, can be very real. Here's Jeremy Hubbard. It seems like an appropriate question to ask on Halloween. Are zombies, the living dead from those Hollywood horror flicks, possible in real life? Well, by Haitian belief, the zombie absolutely exists. Anthropologist Wade Davis, a National Geographic explorer in residence, spent years studying voodoo culture and the story of Clarvius Narcisse, seen here in the documentary Zombies, When the Dead Walk. In 1962, Narcisse went to an American-run hospital in Haiti with a fever, but it got worse, and he was declared dead, even buried. So imagine his sister's surprise when 18 years later, she spotted him walking through the town marketplace. Narcisse said he'd been given a potion by a voodoo priest all those years earlier, then dug up, beaten, and enslaved on a sugar plantation for years. But what kind of potion could fake death? So when I went down to Haiti, I was looking for a drug that could make someone appear to be dead so profoundly that it could fool a physician. Davis discovered voodoo potions containing a toxin from the puffer fish, a Japanese delicacy. A toxin that can slow your heart, make your muscles limp, make you appear deceased. By folk custom in Japan, if you succumb to the fish, you're laid out by your grave for several days to make sure you're really dead. An ugly fish, the cause of zombieism? Okay, so maybe it doesn't quite match the story behind those gory flesh eaters of your favorite Halloween films. But perhaps there is now finally a scientific explanation for the living dead. Jeremy Hubbard, ABC News, New York. So now you know. Look out for pufferfish. That's going to do it for our broadcast tonight.